Howdy YouTubers, this is Rich here. Uh, making this video because I want to thank everybody for the comments and replies you've sent to me with regards to me getting my new Amazon Echo. I'm trying to say different names so I don't wake my device. And as you can see right here, folks, this is my new Amazon Echo generation third, well, Echo dot third generation. Um, when I unveiled it today, I took the packaging out here in my room, and this is the ironic thing. This is kind of a spiritual testimony to share with everybody. Um, God knew, the Lord Jesus Christ is my personal Savior. He knew that I was getting the Selexa thing to help me with, uh, good, she didn't wake up, my uh, daily life to simplify it. And that's the reason why I got it. Well, when I first unveiled it and got everything set up, Thunder started rumbling. And sometimes I get minor heart palpitations. Well, I received a minor one right then and there. Thankfully, no heart problems or anything to be medically advised to the healthcare providers about. But it's just one minor heart palpitation. And it happened almost about the same time that the thunder started rumbling. And that was when I went out, shut off my air conditioner, opened up the windows and took in the sound of the thunder because every time it starts thundering, I'm always quiet because I believe that it's God's way of saying to repent, turn from your wicked ways. He's telling the world out there. He's telling everybody to repent of your sins. He's speaking through his creation. You know, everybody has their own beliefs and they can believe what they want to believe. But hey, that's my true belief there. And I know a lot of Christians are following my belief, the fact that God can speak through his creation. He can speak through circumstances. He can speak through uh, people as they come into your lives. They can speak through so many ways, even his word. And today I started reading the book of Matthew, chapters one, all the way through part of five. And if I wanted to, I could tell my Amazon Echo to ask the YouVersion Bible to read Matthew chapter five. And that's where he will start off again. And I also got the Headspace Meditation app. And now, with this being my assistant, I've added a couple items to my shopping list already. And thanks to you guys' videos that you've shared out there, I feel 100% confident that this Alexa thing is going to help me. And it's going to uh, be literally detrimental to my health and well-being. Um, and... Uh, I'm also making way for a new exercise equipment piece to come in. Sorry about the TV being on the background. But I'm kind of turning my living room area here into a mini exercise center. So far, there's the stepper and the exercise bike right next to each other, the little, little peddler thing I have. The thing that I'll be getting is the glider. It's like a elliptical trainer. It's probably going to sit right next to the TV so I can listen to TV while I'm working out in the morning. And my Amazon Echo is going to remind me of that. Now you're wondering, where's my dining room table? Well, right now, the dining room table is out on the balcony here for my enjoyment. I got water underneath for, cool, for cooler for water, actually. And you can see up there, there's a few thunderclouds, but they're kind of clearing away. There's just a couple small garden variety thunderstorms today. But when when the time gets here, of course, I won't be able to be out there and enjoy the balcony. But the table's going to go in this kitchen area. There's plenty of space for that little card table to fit in here. It's been done in the past, and I'm able to easily and quickly get my food from the productivity phase right to the table without transferring hot foods to a very long space from here in the kitchen all the way into the dining area. So, and then I also move my PC out here for writing down my diary with things that Alexa tells me as well as reminds me and things that I need to be reminded of. And so I'm gonna be starting to put in daily reminders for my, my Amazon Echo to tell me, hey, you need to take your pills. Get up out of bed, get your workout routine going, take your pills, and these will be daily reminders. And with the Inspire Me skill that I've seen on there, 
you can actually get inspired with a daily quote and that's a positive way to start the day. And for me, I'm finding out rather than trying to get on the computer, looking online, searching for a quote using Google and blah, 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 blah. I could just get my device here to tell me a quote without looking things up. I mean, so this is really cool. I got my musical keyboard there. I kind of moved everything around yesterday to kind of make way for this new campaign that I'm enduring. Uh, it's a personal diary campaign to really better myself. It's about supercharged spirit, mind, body, and confidence. Got my stereo there to be able to listen to Christian music and hook my iPhone up to it to listen to Family Life Now or K-Love Classics. So this is kind of like my listening and productivity center. And, uh, wow. There's a little preview there from uh, a voicemail that I got earlier. So, uh... And they always say, for falling asleep, don't have your computer in your room. Well, if you use it for reading books and productivity, an author like myself needs to have it there so that, hey, if you have an idea, two or three o'clock in the morning, you wanna be able to get up, sit down right away, and while it's in your head, boom, you wanna get it from your head, straight to paper immediately. You know, the iPad's there, my iPhone is hooked up there, so everything is all there in one location. Uh, the only thing, that is different, of course, is the PC now being out here. And uh, I have my comfy chair there, and this is like my main computer for actual editable writing, like my diary and so on. And so I've really moved things around quite a bit. The slot door is off the track, which I'm hoping to get fixed up pretty soon. Uh, and right now my little fan is there that's gonna be moved from here, probably to another location. I have a bed here that I'm trying to get rid of because I can't use it. Right now it's up against the wall, but it's out of the way. Um, so there is some things being put into perspective to make my life better. And uh, I was telling uh, one of the security guards here in the building who came to deliver the package. I told him, hey, get ready, guys, because you're going to be getting a large package coming in. It's big because it's, it's a you know body workout machine. It's an elliptical trainer. $200 that I got from Amazon. And so that will be coming. Uh, last time I tried to order something from Amazon, a trampoline, the order had to be canceled because there was not going to be a part for it until July. So the refund was issued and whatnot, and at least I'm hoping it was. And I got a talking scale recently, or I thought it was a talking scale, only to find out that when I got it home and stepped on it to get myself weighed and whatnot. It was not a talking scale. It didn't say anything. I'm like, oh, I can't use this as a blind person. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, when I tried to use my iPhone's magnifier, uh, that couldn't quite zoom in properly. Um, I tried using the iPad's visor app, which makes the print larger. And that wasn't able to work because when I bend down to check my weight, it offsets the weight balance and changes the results. So I said, wow, that's not gonna work at all. So that's so why I decided, hey, I wanna return that. Then I used part of that refund. I was like, you know what? This is something I really need. Why not get me an Amazon Alexa? So here's how much I love this thing. Alexa, tell me a joke. Where does a T-Rex go to get his groceries? The dino store. Oh! <laughs> she told me some pretty good ones today. Like, uh, I guess it was something about the marsupial. Not, you know, why did the marsupial not get his mortgage? Because he didn't qualify. <laughs> she had some pretty good ones today, I tell you. So again, this video basically was to thank everybody for all your comments and all your great replies and my inquiries about getting an Amazon Alexa. And I felt pretty confident now knowing that this device is gonna be used for the glory of God and to help to simplify my life. And I got a reminder set for this evening to help to wind down and go to bed. So I can just tell it without physically looking for my iPad or my phone or the computer to type in those reminders and risk not knowing how I can find them when I could just have this little digital personal assistant tell me. So I'm really pleased about that. So, but 
the biggest thing that was really a highlight for today was the fact that when I unboxed my Amazon Alexa and got the um, thing unplugged, got it hooked up to my Wi-Fi, got it set up to the Amazon Alexa app, that's when boom, the thunder started coming in. I thought, whoa, that was powerful. So I knew right then and there that that was God's way of saying that everything's gonna be okay. Your, your, your life is gonna get better. You're gonna be thinking more positively. You're gonna be getting more exercise. Not to be graphic or nothing, but I have extra poundage here on my stomach. So that is going, uh, once I get on my elliptical program, my doctor's gonna be notified about that. I do have extra fat around me and uh, really that's not good, especially for somebody who's diabetic like myself. So that is gonna be hopefully reduced as I keep on this supercharged spirit, mind and body and confidence program. And I use those words in that because um, spirit, fo focusing on the spirit of God, what he has for my life for that day, taking care of my body, that's the body part, because our bodies are a temple of the Lord. Uh, the mind, thinking positively, staying focused on God. So when things get do rough and they get storms in life, whether it be financial, physical, mental, whatever they are, you learn to think on a positive note. And this Amazon device here now, my new personal assistant, she is definitely going to help me. And a couple of skills I've downloaded today, I've gotten familiar with those. And I found the YouVersion Bible app. I was able to download that as well. And uh, so I'm getting familiar with it as I go along, added a few items to my shopping list. So next time I go to Giant Eagle, which will probably be tomorrow or sometime during this week, when the weather cools down a little bit, because waiting for a bus outside can get stifling hot, especially now that you've got to wear a mask. <clears throat> I hate that. But anyway, um, that list that I created with my Alexa is going to be added into my list. Okay, I want to make sure she doesn't wake up there. Um, Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.31 p.m. Thank you. Alexa, what is today's date? It's Tuesday, July 21st. Thank you. Very, very quick, very, very simple. So again, uh, it was a final finale to this video to say, hey, thank you all for everything. Uh, I got my computer hooked up to my monitor yesterday. I had to move one table out, clean it off. I was like, ah, a lot of work. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm glad everything changed for the better. My keyboard's over here. Audio Productions. I'm still trying to think of another location I can move my keyboard so my cot will be up against the bed, up against the wall here, so that when a, that when my device wakes me up, it'll be right near my bed. So that's the whole idea. Not to scare me out of bed like a fire alarm system would do, but it'd be a nice, gentle wake-up call to say, hey, Richard, it's time to get up out of bed. And it even tells me by name. I personalized my Amazon Echo to go by my name. So now it's like she knows me. We got to know each other today. Like meeting a person for real. And based on Siri versus Alexa, I think the Amazon Echo Alexa is much better. It is much, much better, I think. So much better is not an Amazon Echo. Uh. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. <laughs> Why did the zombie eat a pirate? He wanted a career change. And you, are what did he eat? <laughs> Just for that, I had to do that. <laughs> so much better is not an Amazon Echo. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that, you boob. That means a silly person. Don't take that word out of context. <laughs> but again thank you all for the comments and whatnot and you know continue to subscribe to my channel I'll have some more innovation videos coming but you know busy having trying to take care of my health and software issues and whatnot it's been quite a long time since i've been able to uh, make any more videos but pretty soon they will be coming back so hope you enjoyed this video and uh feel free to leave some pleasant comments and whatnot and um keep those great videos coming Thank you.